Yo, it's your boy, Big Sexy Girthquake, and I'm going to give you a review on the boxing on the weekend, especially the show in Dubai, and a bit of the other smaller cards that was happening. First of all, let's start with Rigorous Progress, who boxed Tyro McKenna. Um, that was an international contest. Uh, I think it was scheduled over 10. Rigorous Progress, uh, former world champion, um, done what he was expected to do, um, outboxed Tyrone McKenna comfortably, dropped him in the second, stopped him in the sixth. No shame to Tyrone McKenna losing to Progress. I believe Progress is one of the elites out there and I also believe Progress beat Josh Taylor in his match in the World Boxing Super Series, which happened not long ago, which was a unified world title fight. All right. Now time for Sonny Gollum Edwards v Muhammad Wasim. Um, this was the IBF flyweight world title fight. Um, but you know what? Congratulations to Sonny. He done exactly what he was supposed to do. He used the ring well. Um, his IQ won him the fight, I believe. Um, done very well. But I kind of feel sorry for Sonny. Like, you're defending your world title you're getting so much promotional push and you've, you've had promotional push your whole career from when you first went pro all the way to now and the, there's no crowd, there's no, no audience. You're, you're, it's, like the, it's like the early amateur days where you're fighting and there's a couple, couple parents watching you. That's it, that's all you've got. Like no one's interested, no one cares about you. It could be that you're incredibly boring or it could be that this eight stone roadman vibe that you're trying to give off just really isn't interesting any of the public. They don't care. I don't care. No one cares. And I'm going to say what do I what do I think he does next. I don't really know what he does next. Um, he's already said before if he couldn't un unify um, against Martinez or anyone, he would take me up on my offer of fighting me. He said it on a Twitter podcast. Um, everyone listened in, they heard it, I think it was Talker's tweet and he didn't even contact me. The fight with Martinez wasn't made or, or Nakatani or Dalitakian and um, my phone was not rung. Um, I don't know, maybe he has arsehole issues, maybe he's scared because Sonny's a smart guy, Sonny recognises I'm all wrong for him. Sonny recognises I'm a bigger, lengthier, girthy guy. He recognises I punch hard. He could just ask his brother for the amount of times I put him on the canvas. Um, they know. They know this stuff. They they know. They know I'm all wrong for him. They know I haven't got slow feet. They know I'm lengthy. It's it's um, yeah. He doesn't want to fight. He don't want to fight. He knows he doesn't want to fight. I'm all wrong for him. So what do I think he does next? I don't even think he. I, I I don't know what he does next because he's supposed to fight his mandatories. He's yet to do that. Now I don't know why he hasn't been fighting his mandatory. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know what's going on there because it, it, the thing is with boxing, it's not necessarily about what you know. It's not who you know. It's who you blow. And there's a reason why Sonny isn't fighting his mandatory. There's a reason why he didn't fight in a unification. And there's a reason why my phone never got run because Sonny's quite a smart guy and he's completely avoiding me and swerving me. Even though that's the fan that that's the fight that the fans will tune in to watch, will go to the venues to see. And that is, is, his management team actually know that now, you know, I've, I've made it very clear to his management team that I want that fight. And um, yeah, they're, I'm speaking to them now. They never approached me, but I'm speaking to them about trying to make that happen. Another fight that happened on that show was Hathor Bjornsson against Eddie Hall. Both of them are both one world strongest mans before. Both of them have, um, lifted over 500 kgs on a deadlift that's a extraordinary amount um, by two mammoth studs and uh, they boxed over six rounds i think eddie dropped him once half thor dropped him twice and half thor won the fight to be honest when i watched them both it looked to me that half thor actually has a good iq he's um looks like he's fairly schooled well half thor he looks like he's pretty well the way he moves the way he shapes up whoever's taught him been doing well with him and uh that's basically it for the dubai show um but if we're to talk about other shows that happened you had uh dennis mccann fight charles tondo now this was actually a super bantamweight fight there's um gonna be a link in the top corner here now which basically touches upon me breaking down dennis mccann for you guys to see but 
talking about the actual result of the fight that he had, um, he struggled. Everyone knows he struggled. And, and the thing is, is they are targeting smaller guys. Charles Tondo in his contract was told to only be 54 kilos. He weighed in 53.6, slightly above the bantamweight limit because that's him heavy. That's not him at his normal weight, which should be flyweight. Dennis McCann coming in as a full-fledged super bantamweight and struggled, struggled. The scorecards was seven rounds to one, but really that was a competitive fight. If it was a draw, you couldn't argue. And Charles Tondo's what, 12 wins, five losses? It's just, it's poor, it's poor. All right, that's it from um, me today on this video and the review on the weekend. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and be safe.